We have an NHL trade to discuss between the Sharks and the Kraken. We'll get into the details coming up next. So welcome back to Real Video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have an NHL trade to discuss. This deal actually was announced really late into the evening last day. Uh, of course, involving two West Coast teams. Uh, we have a trade involving defenseman Jacob Megdam, the San Jose Sharks, now being traded over to the Seattle Kraken. Uh, of course, he gets the return of a fourth-round draft pick going back to the Sharks. It's actually a conditional pick as well. Um, the Kraken have the choice of which fourth-rounder they're going to send. They have multiple this year, including their own, and that, that originally belonged to the Colorado Avalanche. So they can decide, um, I believe it's by June 15th, which pick they're going to give them. I'm sure it'll be based on the standings, of course, and which one would be lower. So they'll take the higher one, I'm sure. So obviously, make that is uh, not a super experienced guy, but he's 30 years old, so he's a very mature defenseman. Uh, he's been playing a lot in San Jose this year. He's 6'6", 220 pounds, so he's got a good size, good strength. He's certainly like a stay-at-home defensive style type of defenseman. He's played 135 NHL games uh, between the Sharks, and previously he was drafted and did have some games with the Anaheim Ducks earlier in his career. Uh, but he was actually third on the Sharks in average time on ice this year, so... Uh, averaging just shy of 20 minutes per game uh, behind uh, Eric Carlson and Mario Ferrero. So even getting more ice time than a guy like Blasic, for example, in, in the Sharks lineup. I know he played with Carlson a fair bit. Um, obviously, the, the amount of Carlson plays, he usually has a rotation of partners throughout the course of a game. But this gives the Kraken a, a little bit more depth on defense, gives them some more size, more strength, a good stay-at-home defender uh, for a small price tag of a fourth-round pick. He's signed for this year. And next year as well, with a low cap and of only 762000 So this is a really low-risk, potentially good reward trade for the Kraken. Uh, the Sharks get themselves a fourth-rounder. We're going to see more players uh, in the Sharks lineup uh, likely get a chance to be moved on here as they uh, you know, kind of embark here on another bit of a, a retool or rebuild. We don't know how deep it's going to go, but certainly we know there's going to be changes in San Jose for sure. But I like this deal from the Kraken. And let me know what you think down in the comments. We'll discuss it further. If you're new to this channel, of course, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest news, rumors, and analysis of all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.